if you already understand left join, you already understand right join as well. In this table, I am doing a right outer join operator, and I will explain it. I will show how it works. I will go again to the data source, and you will see that this time I remove the date. I will only match the brands. This time, the operator will be instead right outer. I will click on cancel, and I will click on close. What is the difference here? I will only show data as soon as it is in the right table or second table. In this case, it is Google Ads. So all the brands I am displaying here must be on Google Ads. AIG is in Google Ads, Uber, Valiant, OpenAI, and Deutsche Bank. I am not presenting or I am not showing Volkswagen because this value is only present in Facebook, so I cannot display it. And these two values, for instance, Deutsche Bank and OpenAI are only present in Google Ads in my right table. That's why I am showing it in the table, but they display as null for meta ads. So as you can understand, the right hour join will declare the values as soon as they are in my right table or second table I declare in my join on Google Looker Studio. If this is clear with left join and right join, now I will explain your inner join. I will see you in the next lesson. Let's understand inner joins. You already know that left outer joins will only show data as soon as they are in the left table or the first table, in this case, Facebook ads. Right outer join is the opposite. It will only show data as soon as it is in the second table. Well, inner joins are more restrictive. You have to have the data in both left and right to show them. As you can see, in this table, I am showing the brands AIG, Uber, and Valiant because these brands are present in both Meta and Google. It's not one or the other, but one and the other. And how it works as the other joins. I will go to edit this blended data source. I will go to edit, and you will see that I am blending my brand. I will choose the condition, and I am blending the brand and using the inner join operator. I will click on cancel, close, and you can see this table where I am combining this with an inner join. In the next lesson, I will show you the full outer join operator. See you in the next lesson. Let's understand the full outer join. Remember the inner join. The inner join is the most restrictive rule because my data should be present on Facebook and on Google. Well, the full outer join is the opposite. The data should be present on Facebook or on Google in order to be displayed in my new table. Let me explain it with this example. AIG is present in Meta and Google, and I can see it there. Null value, I will solve it later, no worries. Uber, Uber is present as well in Facebook and Google, and I can see them there, 30,000 and 5,000. Valiant as well, but the magic is here. Deutsche Bank is not present on Facebook. It is present on Google. Besides that, or even though I have this issue, it will still display this data. It will display a null anyways, but it will display the data. Also, it will display OpenAI even though it is not present on, on Meta. And what about that null value? That null value refers to Volkswagen. And for some reason, look at the studio that didn't display Volkswagen, it displayed null. But as you can see, the full outer join is the least restrictive rule. And because of this, I will recommend you to use this one the most often, even though the left outer is the default option. Now, let's understand the cross join on Google Looker Studio. It is my time to be open and candid with you with the cross join. I can explain you how it works, but not why it works. Let me show you. In this table, I can see that this is self-explanatory. With the cross join for every brand, this is aggregating the total of the ad spend of the entire table. So the total ad spend on meta ads is this number, 118K. But it is repeating this total across all these brands. So it is adding up almost 600K. It doesn't make sense. And it does the same behavior with Google. I understand how it works, but I don't know why would you ever use this. This is the cross join on Google Looker Studio. I will see you in the next tutorials. Uh, and if there is someone watching this tutorial who understands why you will do that, let me know in the comments because I want to learn.